Hi guys, Seb here at La Croix Board. So today I'll be showing you guys how to assemble the brand new Falcon gear truck. We'll be working on this beautiful brand new Nazare Super Sport. We'll disassemble the original belt drive and we'll be assembling the brand new Falcon gear truck. Here's all the tools you will need for the job. If you have the hyperms, it'll be a 24 millimeter Torx. For the MBS, it'll be a 19 millimeter socket. You will need reversible C-clip pliers that goes both ways. A pair of scissors, two and a half millimeter, three millimeter, and four millimeter screwdriver. The Allen keys, ideally with rubber, two and a half, three, four, and six millimeters. A 22 millimeter key for the axles. Rubber mallet could be necessary a pair of clamps, some high thread, uh, high strength thread locker, and a heat gun. Okay, so first we'll need to remove the wheel. By removing the wheel nut, we'll remove the belt, the 18-2 motor pulley. Then we'll, be, uh, we'll have access to unscrew the motor from the motor bracket, and then at the end we'll be re removing the motor bracket itself. Alright, as you could see, that was fairly simple. Everything came off fairly easy. Uh, for the two big uh, M8s, we use Loctite to install them. So if they're hard, all you need to do is simply use a heat gun to warm them up before you go. So there we are, we have the space, we have all we need to install the Falcon gear drive. So here it is. So here's all the parts that you'll need to assemble the Falcon gear drive. This is pretty much what it looks like once you'll get it at your place. We'll unpack everything together and then we'll start assembling it. We will need to remove the 131 millimeter axle to replace it with the 146 millimeter axle that will be able to accommodate the Falcon gear drive. We're going to be using the 22 millimeter to remove the axle itself. Now we'll use the high strength thread lock. Apply just a little, no need to go excessive, right on the thread, pop it in. Now this is a fairly important part of your assembly, so don't be scared of tightening properly. Next step will be installing the motor plate. Now there's one for each side. As you can see, we have here the wire slot for the motors. They are symmetrical, so one for the right side, one for the left side. Let's start with the right side. You will need the big M8 by 12 screw to insert it. It already has the thread lock on the screw, so you don't need to apply again. Allen key. All 
All right, so next step will be to install the motor onto the motor plate. We'll be using the elliptic ring. What the elliptic ring does is it, it allows you to adjust the tightness in between your pulleys. So first, you know, this is pretty much how it looks like. By turning it, it will adjust the tightness in between the pulleys. So we'll insert it onto our installed motor plate. Now the motor, the mounting disc has four dabs. The four dabs will be aligned with the four holes onto the mounting plate. Okay, we'll be using the M5 by eight millimeter screw with the flat disc washer. You'll need three of those per side. Install them, don't tighten them because eventually we will need to adjust our elliptic ring to adjust to the right uh, backlash in between the pulleys. And if you tighten them, well, it won't allow the adjustments. So we'll install the two other ones. Here it is. All right, so next step will be to install the 14 tooth pulley. To install the pulley, you will need one C-clip, one keyway, and the pulley per sides. So first we'll be installing the keyway. Then we can go with the pulley. And then we lock it in with the C-clip. Fairly simple, same process as the belt drive. You can hear it, you'll hear it click and then you know that your pull, you know that your C-clip is locked into place. We could just make sure that it's locked in and there it is. Next we will need to insert the bearing into the 59 teeth pulley. Fairly simple. Just insert our bearing should be fairly tight. There it is. Now what we'll need to do is install the 59T pulley using this little spacer. We'll install it, we'll have to put on the hub. And then what we need to do is using the elliptic ring, we'll be using, we'll be adjusting the tightness of our motor and it'll be adjusting the tightness in between our pulley make sure we are really precise and we have a well-running Falcon gear drive. So we'll have to insert it, adjust, remove it, screw our three screws, tighten them. Then we'll be able to install our casing, close everything up, reinstall the hub and there it is. So now that it's all together, what we want to adjust is the black backlash on the motor. You can see now I'm holding the motor tight. We have this little wiggle in between the two pulleys. That's what we call the backlash. Now what we want in the backlash, it's very important to have backlash. We don't want too much. We don't want too little. If it's too tight, it will just shred your teeth away. If it's too loose, well, you might have slippage. So right now, as you see it, it's a little loose. I have about a quarter inch of play. I want about an eighth of an inch of play. So this is when the elliptic ring will come in handy. Now it's all mounted as so here. So by using a two and a half millimeter Allen key, insert it onto the hole, we'll be able to adjust the elliptic ring, therefore adjusting the backlash onto the pulleys. So now remember our motor screws are still loose, so there's still play onto our motor. Insert it into the elliptic ring. And it's pretty much just, just 
play with it until you have the right tightness. So when it's super tight, no good. And when it's too loose, it's no good. We want to be right in the middle. You see, we're a bit tighter than we were earlier. I have about an eighth of an inch of play. If we look at the pulley turn, that's pretty much where we want. So now that we're into place, we're going to be using our four millimeter Allen key. We're going to secure at least one screw so we don't lose our adjustment. Now that that's done, we can unmount everything. Remove the wheel. Now at the beginning, it'll be super tight. You can use a rubber hammer if you feel like. All right, so next step, we'll be inserting our bearing onto the case. And then we'll be inserting our O-ring onto the case, closing everything up so we have a working gear drive. All right, so fairly simple to install. The only thing you need to know is you need to insert, uh, you need to put liquid Loctite onto the bearing so it stays into place. You need to apply a very minimal quantity onto the bearing and not onto the case. If you put it onto the case, it will squish onto the bearing and it will tear apart once you try to run it. So ideally this is done the day before your assembly to give 24 hours to the Loctite to dry. So we have another one that was ready made for this example. So it's already glued on, doesn't come off, Loctite is dry and we're ready to go. All right, next. The O-ring gasket, there's already a little slot made for the O-ring onto the motor mount. So we just insert it in. We'll cut it the length and we'll be ready to close it up. to the right length. And there we are, like that we'll have a tight seal. Close it up. We'll need two M4 by 20, 20 millimeter screw and we'll need three M3 by 12 millimeter screw. Now, ideally you'll use a small clamp, clamp your case together so it doesn't open, it doesn't keep dropping once you're trying to screw. You'll notice that everything is always done by hand without a drill, that's a good way to prevent stip stripping screws and to prevent eventual hassles. This here would be the plug for the insertion of the grease. Now we just close it up, make sure no water or dirt gets in there. Next step, put the wheel back on. Oh, we got one step. We need to install the little 16.3 millimeter wheel spacer.
Now we'll need to make sure that all our holes align properly. Smash it in. Again, we need to use for only for the hyper rims. If you have regular MBS, you don't need to lock tight the nut, but for the hyper rims, we need to apply just a little lock tight. Make sure the nut doesn't pop up. doing right now is pretty much just screwing the adapter onto the top. Simple enough. everyone so there it is falcon gear drive fully assembled functioning we'll run it so you can see what that beautiful thing sounds like guys so there it is beautiful falcon gear drive super smooth as you can see fairly simple to install it it takes quite a bit of time but it's a very simple process and uh, that's it enjoy guys ride safe